So here we are at the trade deadline, and we are in second in the division. Likely going to make the, although it's, I mean, we can still fall out of the playoffs. It's just, I mean, we are only one point ahead. That's the thing. We're only, we're literally only one point ahead. We have been trading, trending up in the right direction. Um, I don't know if we're actually going to make it. I mean, we're, we're one point ahead and actually two points back from a wild card spot. The Lightning are still out by three points. And behind quite a few teams that they need leapfrog. Here's the thing. <laughs> it's, it, this is so weird. Because if we, if we suck at the end of the year, we'll actually have a decent lottery position. Not that we especially need it. And especially in, a, in this year's draft, which isn't super, super strong. And it won't be that great of a lottery position either. Um, so what I'm going to do here... It's so, it's so, it's so hard. It's like, cause literally if we lose, like if we lose a couple games and the Canucks or Flames win a couple, they're like, we're, we're out of the playoffs. Like fourth is not good enough. It's so, it's such a weird spot, but you know, I'm going to treat it as, you know, I would treat it not hope to get lucky with this friggin' top five, which we likely won't. I don't know what this guy is. If I had to take a gath, he's probably a two-way or, or something. I don't, I don't fucking know. Um, I, if he was a power forward, I'd be super, super tempted. But I, I, we just don't know. And we have, you know, some top sixes and some leads. Um, power forwards coming up as well. Like, we, we're we really kind of okay for a lot of a lot of prospects. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Um, when we're thinking about our future team here, the one thing we don't have is that winger playmaker. Right? So... That's something that we can look to at trading. I might that that might be something I trade at some other point, you know, in the draft or in free agency or at some point. Like a, a young guy like that probably won't be on a block, so we'd really have to uh, make a move. Oops, to uh, or make moves to uh, make that happen. Anyway, I just want to take a look here at like some of the stuff we got. And I'll sort by this. So I mean. We still obviously have Keller, Louv, and AJ Ole. That's a line in itself. Then Jaron Myers needs his supporting cast. That is, that's kind of what we're waiting on. Now we have a ton of these two-way guys. Hayton, Schmaltz, Fisher, all these guys. Grant, um, Dvorak, right? All these guys that are filling roles. We got John, who's in a pretty decent spot. I'm, I'm excited about Valesi. I think he could be that second line power forward winger. And again, all we need after that is a winger playmaker. And if he doesn't work out, um, I think we had, I thought we had another option. What? Did not, what's the top six? Yeah, yeah, top six guy. Yeah, that power forward. He hasn't grown too much. That's why I guess I skipped over him. He really hasn't grown at all. <laughs> Grayson Versteeg. Yeah, this guy was a second round pick. I don't think he's fucking grown a lick. That sucks. Uh, so yeah, he's a bit less likely to pan out. The good thing is that this Valesi guy is really looking good. So hopefully he could actually turn into that second liner. So there you go. There's like almost our top, top six taken care of. And when you're thinking about defense, we pretty much we have pretty much have a top four. Chikrin, Hagman, uh, Soderstrom, and O'Brien. There's your top four. So we've and we have a goaltender. So we really kind of have almost every single piece that we need uh, for like in the top positions. And we have a guy like Pavelka, who can be a big, big trade asset for, like like I said, the winger playmaker most likely. So that's something we can start looking toward. Now, when it comes to this year, we can actually improve ourselves for the playoffs or try to. Well, this, while this might include putting Soderstrom back into the top six, which I'm not super, super stoked about. Speaking of which, I need to sign him to an extension. Um... It shouldn't hurt him that much. And Dumba's going to get pushed back to the top four most. Like, I, I could, I, I mean, I can go ahead and play Dumba in, like, you know, the the, 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 the top six. I just don't think that's a, oh, shit. Soderson doesn't want an extension. Um, I just don't think it's a good idea. That's interesting. Whatever. We can, re we can uh, tender him and, and get into, like, a one year. That's really weird. Why didn't he want an extension? That sucks. Yeah, that's another thing I want to look at. Bjorkstrand might not be having as good of a year, but he still wants a stupid deal. Yeah, screw him. 
Uh, didn't I already... I guess I didn't extend Grandland. Or maybe I extended him for a year. Maybe I already... I think I did... Did I do that last year? Extend him for a year? I thought I offered him a deal. Huh. I don't know. Did, I totally thought I offered him like a couple year deal at one point. Did I not? Maybe I didn't. Anyway, um... He can be, yeah, because I was talking about fucking winger playmaker with what's his name for a bit. Anyway, let me, let me offer Granlin like a couple year extension because I think we're going to want to hold on to him just for a couple years. Let us see what we can get him for. Um, five, three, three something. So right there, we can get him for a couple year extension. That's that's fair. Yeah, seriously, didn't I? <laughs> I could have sworn I offered this guy an extension at some point. Maybe not though. Um, I'm still still sucks about Soto. From Bukestad, our current captain, probably not going to have him back. I mean, we have guys like Kopaka, even though Shenishin's like a weird sniper or something like that. Yeah, he's pretty shit. What do we got in the way of? I mean, obviously Myers is going to come up laughing at Hosang. Probably John will be ready next year, too. Yeah, we should have plenty of guys to fill in. Now we're still looking. We still need to look for all the... Uh, basically, still need to look for as many um, grinders as we can to fill out a fourth line third line we can do internally we pretty much already have a nice third line as long as they uh perform well so um I t I, this is all like i'm trying to think what we're going to do here for the deadline i'm kind of thinking aloud here one thing i want to do before we actually get into the deadline i just want to see if there's any that's not what i wanted where's is that not i thought i did find player maybe i did that's oh, player search not i did find trade didn't i <laughs> All right, what I want to do here is just look for, don't care. Uh, do they not have player type? They have to. They 100% do. Hold on. Maybe they don't. No way they don't. What? I could have swore they had a thing where you could actually search for player type. Dude, I'm, I'm losing it here apparently. Yeah, apparently I am. Oh, it's fucking right here, dude. No. <laughs> did I? Hold on. Okay, it doesn't appear until you... No wonder. Okay, I was like, did, there's no way I just skipped that. That's why. Okay. Grinder. I just want to search if there's any... Freddy Fudpucker, Wilson, Furland. Ooh. Brunstrom. Philpola, Elin, and none of them are very good. And that's that's the that's the downside. There's like one here who you could say is probably gonna make the NHL. Like this guy, maybe, but Brunstrom, and, and again, this guy's not even guaranteed. 72, 21. Actually built kind of cool and weird. So Nicholas Brunstrom on the Charlotte Checkers. Interesting. So Brunstrom really... I mean, we'll pick up these other guys. Where's Elon and... Anaheim, I guess. Yeah, we, I mean, we could pick up a bunch of guys like this and just kind of see what happens. I could try this guy as well, Mendoza. We can get one of each position. Again, it's highly unlikely all of them pan out. So we got Buffalo, Anaheim, and Carolina for the grinders. Like maybe even trade for him now, because. But let's actually get up to the deadline here because there is something that we might want to do. See if it actually before we even do that, I'm gonna. God damn it! I was gonna see if it's available because I don't want to have the thing best lines my ass when I when I don't actually know. Although this doesn't show people on the block, does it? Yeah, it's not going to matter. Okay. 
let's let's just get up to the deadline. Um, basically, what was suggested is to maybe find like an OFD. Um, Granlin accepted the extension. Keep our block. I don't want to be bothered here. Let's get into the trade deadline. And we'll actually peruse around to see if there's any OFDs here available. Barzal's available again. Really? What are you doing, Devils? Barzal Zingle set. Okay, it doesn't look like because these are the top players. So doesn't really look like an OFD is available. We can maybe look for one. Yeah, you can't do player search here, which is unfortunate. Um, first things first, though, let's maybe try to find those grinders here. One's on the ducks. See what we can give up for these guys. Junk for junk. Uh, Elon and here he is. Top nine. They don't want to give him up. That's all right. We can probably make it work. Is there anything I don't need? I can do a guy like Shanish and I'm not. I mean, he's really good for the AHL, but here in 68 at 22 as another two-way guy. We really don't need that many two-way guys. I wonder if they'll go straight up for that. Probably not, since this guy's on the older side of things. No, definitely not, by the looks of it. So I can send him a couple guys, him and someone else. Might actually take a bit more than I was thinking to get some of these guys. Chubasov's actually growing well. What is he? Another lefty. DFD, but the defensive... No, 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 I don't like the way he's built. I'm going to shove him in there. Hirvonen and Chubasov for Elanen. Oh! I actually need to remember, this is the fourth of the year, so we can only have uh, nine picks total and only three in the first two rounds. All right, so we got that trade. Got a six back for it. Let's Speaking of which, one, two... Ooh, so yeah. We actually can't use all these picks. We'll have to trade one of the seconds, which is okay. The Washington one is up for... Uh, Obviously up for, up to be traded. We have nine total right now, but if we're going to trade this, which we likely will. Alrighty. Um, anyway, Sabres was with the other one. I forget who it was here. But let's take a look. We could trade like one of those mid picks for him. I'll recognize it when I see it, maybe. Yeah, Mendoza. He's pretty... And, they, and he's on the block, so this will, this should be easy as fuck to get. And do I have any junkers here that I'm really not using? This guy, Seminoff, 57-20. And we could actually get something else back. Can't get another pick from this year since we're actually looking to move some out. So let's go for a pick from next year. I doubt I can get anything this good. Oh, holy shit, I did. Okay. I'll take a four. Absolutely. So, and then the last one was on Carolina. So. I might actually go from this direction. It seems like it'd be easier. He was unsigned as well, I'm pretty sure, right? Or was he not? Hold on. Maybe he wasn't unsigned. Said he was on Charlotte. Shit, I forgot. I've forgot his name um i remember his overall was somewhere around here though wasn't it no he was on charlotte so obviously he's fucking signed you idiot um shoot fucking a since when are the charlotte checkers no longer carolina's affiliate what the fuck when did that happen why are they that's so weird why why are, all right why are the chicago wolves the affiliate of, uh, there he is, Braunstrom. The Chicago Wolves are the affiliate of... What the fuck? That makes no sense. That's stupid. All right, anyway, Braunstrom. <laughs> All right, anyway. I wonder how... I, did, did anyone else know that? I'm sure there's someone there screaming at the screen, but... What? Charlotte's always been their NHL affiliate, man. I'm mad. I am... That's got me tilted, man. So we got Elon and Mendoza. And then coming in this guy. Who do I trade for this? Hmm. Might have to just be a pick here. I don't really have any more. There's that Yannick guy who I'm simply not using. He's like a depth piece. 
Let's actually go by yeah, McGregor I'm really not using. He doesn't have any value. Westerlin I'm not using anymore either. Could throw him in there. That's not going to be close to enough. Though he is on the block. Maybe Westerland and McGregor? Highly unlikely, but let's see. Valley just isn't there. Yeah, yeah. Probably not. Even with those two, I don't have any trash goalies. Nope. It could be Yannick as well. I mean, I'm not using him. Hold on to McGregor in that case, just for depth. Shit, man. All right, I don't think, yeah, this, since he's a low top six, it's going to be, going to have to actually take some kind of a pick here. Might go for, like, next year. We did pick up a couple fours. Maybe it'll, is it enough just to be a five? Probably not. Even though blocks are matching, it's going to have to be a four, which is a bit interesting. Not what I wanted to do, but I'll, I will do it. I could actually do it from this year. But I still can't have that second, so that doesn't make sense. Let's do our own pick from next year. I kind of feel... Let me grab something else from... Okay, fuck it. Really? A four straight up doesn't go through. That's a bit unfortunate. But alright, I like this guy enough. We'll throw in some of those other dudes. Throw in McGregor. Really? What's your problem? McGregor and Westerlin and a four for this guy. Fuck up. What? You have got to be kidding me. Why the hell is this guy? He is 72 at 21. I mean, he is almost guaranteed. But it's a fucking fourth liner, assholes. God damn. Am I really going to have to give up two picks for this? Or a third? If I'm doing a third, I'm doing it from back there. Screw you, man. This is this is trolling me, right? It's trolling me. There's no way. There's no way you don't accept a fucking third for this guy. Yeah, okay. It just had to be a block match. Ugh, I still don't like that. That's a third for a low top six. Although he is 72 at 21. I mean, yeah, but still. I still feel a little salty about that. Whatever. That's how bad I wanted a grinder. <laughs> and now we get draft more too. But the, really, we wanted a bunch of those types who are a bit closer to uh, NHL ready. Anyway, now we're going to look around for hopefully a OFD. Well, there's Shadkirk, but nope. No one there. No one there. No one there. You know what? Let me make sure I'm sorting by overalls here. That makes sense. All right. Hannafin, but nah. Not on the block either. It kind of almost has to be on the block here. I don't want to overpay for any sort of rental. If, it, if it's not there, I'm not going to force it through. We don't need it. It would just be nice. Geo. Uh, unfortunately, Geo is very old. Mm, not looking good. Not looking so hot. There's Yandel, but again, he's shit now at this point. Yeah, pretty rough. Pretty rough. Yeah, I don't know, man. Marine, not an OFD. I don't think he is. I'm pretty, he shouldn't be. Yeah, no. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, we're not, we, we kind of figured there wouldn't be since none of them are in the tops. But this is really nothing. Wow, Merkley busted. Oh, jeez. Yep. Um. Literally nothing. Like, literally nothing. <laughs> there was uh, nothing. I mean, Shattenkirk said, why the fuck would, you, would I do that, you know? Larson, but again, he's a not any, yeah. So, no. 
um, I we're just not gonna make that trade. Like it's, I, I'd have to force something through. I and frankly, the value. What do I have the, to make like to make a trade? Maybe Shodan. I could get rid of him. Like I don't really care for a rental, but nothing else really. We don't have an excess of like value right now, so I'm not gonna try to force anything through. So we are just gonna be done with the trade deadline, I think. Um, there's really nothing available. And like I said, I'm not gonna push anything across. I am kind of curious though. What do, what, what are, what are people saying? Oop, not you. Add asset and then open block. I just want to see what people are willing to pay for. Wow. What? No trades available even with an open block. What? That's insane. That's actually crazy. Okay. Wow. All right. Well, I don't think that <laughs> that's hilarious. All right. Let's just be done with the trade deadline then. It shouldn't have best lines with us because we didn't do any actual roster moves. But watch it. Best lines us anyway. Broussard on waivers? That's hilarious. I'd almost pick him up if we needed, but we not, just don't. Decline. All right. Um... Please don't best lines me. You shouldn't have. Thank God. No, all looks good. Yeah, it's all good. All right. So, we did pick up a grinder. Brunstrom, right? Yeah, I got to put him in there. Got to get him to grow. Where, where are you going? Oof. Why the fuck are you, like, giving minuses everywhere? This drew your guy's ass by this point so he could sit for Brunstrom. Uh, there we go. Get a plus one on that line. Yeah, we're keeping the grinder, or the sniper there. Because what he do, he actually just literally doesn't go anywhere else. I mean, you can put him up there, but... There's no one I'm trying to, like, help grow. <clears throat> anyway, Brunstrom in there. The other two guys are unsigned. We'll leave them off until we got to sign them, which is probably in this next year. Or it's two. All right. So there's that. And oh, that's taken care of. We got the signings that we needed. Maybe after the deadline, they'll update. I'm actually going to check. They probably don't think it works like that. But maybe after the deadline, some of them will update. I just want to see if maybe he wants it. Nah. So I'm still on one extension. Neither is Labushkin. Son of a bitch. I mean, we have Roy, but still annoying. Kopaka. It's yet another two-way guy who was built quite well. So. What? Get out of here. I'm not paying you that much unless I have to. But I'm not doing it right now out of principle. Shenishin. I'm going to do that just because he could be very, very effective. As long as he doesn't tank the chemistry in the AHL. Yeah, Fleur doesn't want to come back. <laughs> That's it. All right, all right. We're all good. We can finish this year off. And we didn't make a trade to our roster, so we should still continue to sim as we were simming. See, if we made it better, we would have sucked. All right, let's finish this year off. See how we do. Past the deadline, we have gone. Shenishin, easy decision to accept that two-way contract. He knows. He knows what's good. All right, so we got three out of four points right there. We should still maintain a playoff spot. Even if we don't, it's not the end of the world, but LA's fired their coach. Yeah, they weren't in too good of a spot. Another loss, but another point, and then we win. All right, I think we're going to be a playoff team here. Oh, yeah, we definitely are. Yep, no way we're not going to be at this point, the way we're playing. We're scoring goals, having trouble. Uh-oh, we lost to Tampa, though. Don't let them creep up the standings isn't Martin Hook a grinder what Martin looks not uh I think Martin Hook should be a grinder okay whatever hmm. all right scouting time here all right continuing on and you're damn well you better bet that I scouted all every single grinder I could see or potential grinder to see if they were going to be grinders and oh wow Mark Edward Vlasic on waivers and he's on Boston that's interesting 
Uh, okay, we've lost a few games in a row. And we're actually out of the playoffs. <laughs> we actually fell out of the playoffs. I kind of want to make the playoffs now that we're so close. Uh, Boone Jenner on waiver. Jesus, look at all these names going on waivers. Oh. Man, if I needed you. I just don't. We already have. We have. We have any guy exactly like him in uh, Lowry and better. 96 win, though. Oh wow, we lost a fucking we're lot losing all the damn divisional games, but we are still in the uh in the playoffs just barely. <laughs> of course. Oof. Absolute oof. He's out with back spasms. Show it though. He's practicing his katana form too much in his uh concentration exercises before games and Oh man. That's rough. But hey, now we can get cheesed. Ooh, oh, one of them's like, all right, I'm going to call it Pro, uh, Prozvetov because I don't care if he actually, if we lose him to the waiver wire. And picked someone up. All right, Flower, carry us. Need the cheese now. We need the cheese. That sucks. Out to the 20th, too, I mean. And we have some random goaltender. Doesn't really matter. I mean, we're absolutely stacked here in the AHL. I, I want to check our end of the season record, too, with that fucking team. Because they were going crazy. There we go. Big win. Uh, Really? And it's a real concussion, too. Holy shit. At the end of the year, we get bit by the injury bug. Oh, no. This is, like, the worst thing to have happen. Oh, man, the injury bug biting us hard, but we're winning games. We're pushing through because we don't care. Get fucked. We made the playoffs, and we take on Vancouver in the first round, but we are missing two key players uh, pretty much for this entire first round. We have to win this first round without Dumba and without the Samurai Shoito. Oh, my goodness. Ah, adversity. All about adversity now, but before we even think about the playoffs, we got to wrap up this regular season. We got to enjoy what happened. One of the things that happened is Clayton Keller with 97 points. This guy's just been a beast for us the entire time. 91 point year, and Anaheim actually snagged a wild card spot before. Oh my God! Yeah, they they weren't even close. 83 points, dude. We might. All right, hold on, hold on. Back to the Pacific we go. We want to check out our stats before we get to... <laughs> yeah, the goals against was a problem. I like our goals for it. Could be better. Goals against is the issue. Power play actually dropped down a bit, too. Yeah, lacking that OFD definitely is hurting us. But, again, there just wasn't one available with the assets we had. Penalty kill is good, though. Um, obviously, yeah, I mean, we were pretty much what you expected. Better on home ice. Not, not the greatest. Keeping the puck out of the net. With a young, unproven goaltender and an aging backup who now has to start for us. He did pretty good. We'll see if he cheeses his way. If he does cheese, I might have him start the playoffs. <laughs> Just because. Just because I want to cheese the fucking game for how many times it's cheesed me. All right. Um, they're ninth. They're the ninth worst team. So... We'll have a top 10 pick unless they move up nine. So it's not the greatest, obviously. But they still they missed the playoffs. Lol LA though. Lol Kings. Yeah, I got we got two members there. How you guys? How you guys liking it? Jesus Christ, man. God damn, they're so bad. <laughs> oh, someone we had someone on the Sharks too now, right? Yeah. Hmm. I bet you Detroit's doing pretty good by this point. Anyway, let's actually take a look at the playoffs. I want to see who's in there, see if we have any... Yeah, Detroit's in the playoffs. The Habs are in the playoffs. So, um, Paulina Cinders maybe gets to uh, back some people up. I'm just going to cross-check this with my list. Oh, get out of here, Dark Elf Army. I have... I, my, my phone, I don't know if any... Probably none. I don't know if anyone here... Shout yourselves out in the comments if you have or have played any Warhammer Fantasy tabletop. Because uh, I got all my army lists in my phone notes. I have four different armies. It's crazy. All right. Um. Anyway, so the Wings are in the playoffs. We got a couple people on that team. We got Ronald McDonald and Isaac Wallace actually on the Wings. Uh, who else? Florida. We actually have someone on the Florida Panthers who's in there. Uh, Philly. I don't think. No, no one on Philly. I don't think we have anyone on the Caps or Canes this time. Nope. 
So what is it? Just the okay. It's not as many as I thought. <laughs> On the west, the Avalanche are back in. The Ducks are in, and that is it for member teams. I think. Yeah. Besides ours, of course. So yeah, some some people still uh, floundering away there on their uh, shitty teams. Couldn't be me. Couldn't be me. Couldn't couldn't be Arizona. All right, let's check it out. Let's see. Let's see who won the contest. It was AJ. Christopher just simply couldn't count. He almost did get 50 goals. So I don't really care. He almost was a 50 goal guy, man. That's crazy. 47 goals rookie year. Rookie year, but AJ Ole above point per game, 57 assists, didn't quite hit 30 goals. Who the fuck cares, though? I don't really care that he's not sinking as many goals, man. That point total is insane. Yeah, it's... Pff, wow. I mean, what else can you say? What else can you say besides amazing? Can't, and obviously, Clint Keller, we ex almost expected out of him at this point. I'm worried about what the hell he's going to ask for. And uh, we still got a bunch... Wow! Still got a bunch more years. Thank you... Thank you, real life, for actually giving him a solid deal. But yeah, AJ, Christopher. <laughs> I'm worried about the price tags. Beginning of next year, we're going to have to extend them ASAP. But after that, that's, that's the only problem with this team, the fall off, man. We do have 50-point guys on the second line, which ain't bad. But yeah, there's quite the fall off. Actually, you know what? Look at that. Look at Dvorak hating... Third line's getting some decent numbers, but yeah, after, oh, zero depth scoring. <laughs> zero fourth line scoring. Dumbo led our team in points, so of course he's injured now. Good luck. Hagman and Soderstrom kind of struggled, plus minus wise. But fortunately, they won't be paired up for the long haul. We'll have Chikrin maybe helping to anchor uh, with Soderstrom there. Interesting, though. Yeah, Shoei, though, he maintained the 90, but yeah, oof. Hilariously, Flurry kind of was the one who got us in the playoffs, if you think about it, with his record and stuff. So, hey, he'll be the guy to get the starts in the playoffs. And like I said, yeah, if he need, Oh, he's up to 185. Well, he's 100% the uh, the starter next year, but maybe you don't give him playoff time this year. I don't know. When he, if he comes back, depends on how Flurry's doing. If Flurry's lights out, I, I, I can't. I want to see how far this team can go. With such a weak draft year, I don't care how far that other first falls back. I really don't. All right, so that was that. And you know what? Let's actually see since we're here. Christopher is the only one to fight, really? <laughs> Literally, the smallest, one of the smallest guy on the ice I was the only one to fight for our, our team twice. That's something you can't teach. That's called heart, ladies and gentlemen. Christopher Lives got heart. Two fights. <laughs> Oh, that is hilarious. He's literally the only one to fight on this team. That's fucking hilarious. Well, we get down to business. We don't need to be dropping the gloves. But once we <laughs> once we get those grinders in action, you never know what will happen. Whoops, I need to actually check the league here. What am I doing? All right, let's see how we stack up. Keller won't be the top, but he'll be up there. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I mean, at least it's fucking realistic. <laughs> Look who's up there again. McDavid and Drysaddle. Nate Mack, though, just two points behind. So always a good bet to go him, and wow, he's actually going to win the goal-scoring race, but jeez, man. David and Dreisaitl every freaking year, 113 points apiece, 80 assists for Dreisaitl. Kind of ridiculous. Let's see who led the scoring race. Oh, ho, ho. McKinnon's like, oh, oh, what the hell? Rat fucking McKenzie, apparently. Jesus. An eighth overall pick just, just already solidified himself as a premier goal scorer. Holy hell. Maybe I made some shooting a little too strong. I don't know. Good gracious. But it's Jonas Rantala who had his breakout year. 56 goal, 86 points, and still a minus five. Detroit, or Detroit, New Jersey hockey, baby. Let's go. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Wow, though. Just wow. Pretty, pretty sick. He'll be winning the Maurice Richard. It was, oh, wait. No, no. He had his rookie year last year, right? Yeah, screw you. Um, yeah, and got robbed of the Calder by injury, essentially. Jesus, man, this is what this is what I wanted. I wanted Jonas Rontala, just it didn't fall our way, and good gracious. What a sick specimen he is. All right, so he's the goal leader, assist leader. Leon Dreisaitl with 80. Kuznetsov there. Clayton Keller was up there, man. I mean, he's, he's never... I don't think we're ever going to see Clayton Keller in the top five for scoring, but who the fuck cares? Because... 
he is just an outstanding player. We know what we got. And that's what happened. That's we're in a smaller market too. He won't get the accolades. He won't get the media hype. But we know what we got in Clayton Keller, and it's a goddamn beast. All right, let's see who some of these best uh, killer lines are. The Carolina Hurricanes have one. Jeez. Coach Kanyama Gallagher and... Yeah, Coach Kanyama and Gallagher. You got to watch out for the Habs, apparently, too. Look at that. Coach Kanyama actually panned out. Wow. All right. He actually is producing as well. Oh, they should, that's why because they, they changed it to a playmaker. That's why. <laughs> oh, hey, yeah, you want to make two way forwards fucking viable for something other than taking up space? That'd be great. Um. Anyway, that was that. Uh, let's see who's the most clutch. <laughs> uh, it's gonna be Blake Wheeler though. Eight game winners of twenty eight goals. I, I'm gonna crack up every time I see this name. Just just bear that in mind. God damn it, Ronald fucking McDonald. Man, all your guys' shots are growing like crazy. I didn't start them super high. Maybe I, maybe when I, I... I guess I should have went more years when I was checking balance out, but I guess... Damn. Well, whatever. Shit happens. I play franchise for fun. Okay. Besides, power forward is supposed to be goal scorers anyway for the most part. Eunice... Uh, wow, he had the most power play goals, actually. Uh, power play point leader was, geez, Eichel with 35. Goodness gracious. All right, shorties. Nikki Bones with four and might have the to total. Yeah, Nikki Bones, just a shorthanded specialist there. All right. Let's check it. All oh, the Selkie candidates. None, maybe he's here, but none really jumping out. Uh, there is Dino, maybe. Maybe not enough face-offs. Point? Ah, this, no real clear Selkie candidates, really. Barkov's got to be in, up there. Giroux again, mate. That's great. Yeah, no, I can't see any of that are, like, crazy, like, oh, yeah, totally. Stassen doesn't even have enough face off That's going to be a weird Selkie here. Very weird Selkie here. All right, let's see. John Carlson. Probably fucking up everyone's predictions. John Carlson. But I'm probably pretty, but at this point, everyone's guessing McDavid and Dreisaitl, I'm sure. <laughs> everyone's like, fuck defense. Uh, John Carlson with 80 points, though. Probably going to win that Norris because I don't really see anyone who could really give him a run for his money. The plus minus of Hamilton's outstanding, but he has 12 points behind. So who knows? Uh, goaltenders, let's check check out. Check, check out. Check, check out, out. Check, check out my melody. Um... I'm going to say tie right off the bat between Holt, Beast, and Hellebuck. Because the goals against is pretty huge. Though the team differential is, you know, obviously Holt, Beast, not on as good of a team. Hellebuck is, but the save percentage is very, very close. And that's a pretty big split. So I'm going to say Holt, Beast, Hellebuck tie. Uh, Bennington not quite there. But that that's that's what I'm saying. Holt, Beast, Hellebuck tie. Hellebuck also has one more shutout. So yeah, I'd say that. Holt, Beast, Hellebuck tie. Ah, I went to five. I can't. It has to be on one. I know it doesn't matter, but it has to be on one. Rooks. Let's go. And we have the top two rookies. Top two fucking rookies in the league. AJ Oli and Christopher Louvre. At 20 and 21, respectfully. 23rd pick in the first round. Can anyone say Tarasenko? And AJ Oli. Predicted to be very good. Predicted to be this good go. Debatable. Who knows? You never know. He's not the goal scorer, but who the hell cares, man? I don't care who pots the goals. I just want points and success, and we definitely got that out of that top line. Uh, Ronald McDonald was next up there. There's Perfetti, then Mike D with a pretty solid performance. Yeah, pure, dude, he, again, I start the shots at a pretty decent level, but you can see, like, he got zero puck skill growth. It all went into, like, shot and shit. <laughs> Holy hell. So he's going to be an effective middle six sniper. Probably a guy who could pot a lot of goals. Not a lot of points, but that's exactly what Mike D is going to be. He's just a pure goal scorer by the looks of it. He just likes to shoot the puck in. And there is... <laughs> Fuck me, dude. Even the grinder. Like, I... Again, I actually started your shot really shit because you're a grinder. And good... It just decided to grow. <laughs> 32 goals and 9 assists. <laughs> God, this this is why we need to be able to for creative players to be able to 
to change like shooting bias. Like just give us a slider that's similar-ish to fighting, right? Like rarely shooting not a uh, never shooting wouldn't obviously be never like but like you know like there should be tears of shooting god damn anyway but yeah whatever all right rookie skaters no one's gonna take the mantle from aj Oli. we know that but i'm gonna check out goalies anyway there's actually not even that many rookie goalies there's one oh show was yeah that's right he was a rookie not the greatest rookie showing but he's 21 years old all right he's 21 he's very very young the <laughs> Wow, not too bad, and got more of a 1B games played, too. Not too shabby. And I wouldn't put this, yeah, Haz does tons of testing, and he, like, knows how to build goalies to be stupid in the sim, and apparently it's it's working, because that's pretty good. Although, you got to ask, what, what kind of, yeah, it does have Shea Weber, and the team is a playoff team, but still... Those aren't too bad. More shoutouts than Shoito, too. What a signing. What a signing. That uh, Montreal made in free agency. And what a stupid move for the Flames to just let Paulina Cinders go. All right. There we go. And now we are in the Ploffs. Where we are taking on the Vancouver Canucks here in the first round. And we don't have home ice advantage. It looks like we could, but we don't. They have the home ice advantage. It must have been like by like a point or two or maybe by row. I'm too lazy to look at, look at it or anything. I'm actually, I didn't mean to click on this, but since I'm here, we did get more growth. AJ jumped up more. Shoito obviously grew a crap ton. The reflexes are getting up there, which is good. Yep, not bad. All right, I won't go too in depth here since we are trying to get to the playoffs here. Uh, Valesi, Pavelka even grew a bit more. Chandler O'Reilly, Bree Lynn, Pluckout. Oh man, yeah, we just got tons and tons of growth. Let's see if anyone's missing. Milson's the only one still. Jaron Myers didn't get a ton, but at all, it was five to each of in there. He'll be brought up next year. Again, I'm not I'm not worried. He's freaking 19. He's already past 80. He'll get an off-season jump. He'll be ready. He's not going to be stunted. We don't need him for second line anyway. <laughs> so there we go. And I wish O'Brien grew more. I do wish he grew more. Hopefully he gets a nice jump in the eye. I don't know if he'll actually be ready for if... Oh, man. He's... Yeah. Did I sign him since he was an exemption? Maybe I didn't sign him. I don't know if they grow better when they're signed. Anyway, good growth all the way around. Let's check out what we're up against here in uh, Vancouver. Taves on the Ducks. I'm blind. There it is. Donskoy, Patterson, Besser. Interesting. Jonas Donskoy going to get carried like he did in the uh, on the Avs. Uh, Shore, Horvat, Lind. So Cole Lind panned out. Hoglander, uh-oh. Rodriguez, Merkley, not the greatest forward core, I gotta say. Defensively, they are much stronger, but still not that great. It's, what is it, Holt Beast? Yeah, Holt Beast, who had a tremendous regular season, looks poised to have a great uh, playoffs, but we got Flurry. We got Flurry, who has an extra gear in the playoffs. God damn it. All right. So, I mean, compared to us, we have a pretty distinct advantage in the forward core. I'm surprised by how weak they look, but you got, you know, Besser and Pedersen. <laughs> And that's scary enough as it is. But, man, our first line could give theirs a big run for the money. Our second line, almost more of a shutdown line when you think about it. It could produce some offense in our third line. We have a very strong middle six. A very strong middle six. And not too bad of a defensive core when you think about it. Goaltender might be an issue. Hopefully Flurry. I mean, if you look at what he did last season in the playoffs, that's pretty fucking good. So, Flurry, we need the same from you this year. I want, I want all of it now. I want all of it. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Game one on the road here. Got to go into one of the Rogers places. Let's do it. Game one. <sighs> Got blown out of the water. Five to one. Jeez. Can we respond after a tough loss like that? Come on, Flurry. Oh, man. 
four to three loss. We respond, but we just cannot keep the puck out of the net. Flurry is not exactly being like we also are missing Dumba too, so it's pretty rough. Hopefully we can win a game now on home ice. No, oh man, we're just we're just getting raffle stomped here. It's not even fair. Yikes. Ugh, first line isn't fucking producing whatsoever. So they're gonna get punished. And aka exploit some matchups here. I, I can't really do much, man. I could I could have moved Sodastrom up, but like really what the fuck would that would have done? We're we're not scoring, we're not keeping the puck out of the net. That's pretty much what it is. So can we win a game here at least on home ice? Yes, we did. Five to two win. Game five. Ugh. Multiple players are eligible to be dressed. Is that he is he is fully healed. Dumba is fully healed. Ito is not. We're leaving him out, obviously. But we got Dumba back, so maybe we maybe we, maybe we have a fighting chance here. Maybe we could pull off a miracle. No. Oh, wait, I thought it, uh, with the delay, I actually thought it was going to end. No, we actually shut him out. Oh, my God. We forced the game six on home ice. Wait a second. Wait a second, Arizona. Show eat those fully healed. Um, <laughs> okay, absolutely. Oh, no, no, no. Whatever. He didn't play bad or anything like that. I didn't mean to exit. <laughs> Fuck me. We didn't score. So we didn't force a game seven. We put ourselves in the hole early on. That's why we lost that series anyway. Shoito didn't get the play, but that's all right. He had an injury. We're playing it safe with him, I guess. Mm. Again, he wouldn't have won that game for us unless he got a shutout. <laughs> Uh, our scoring was too few and far between. We were not consistent whatsoever. And that's the problem when you only really have one line that will consistently put up points. Is that if they get shut down, you're in trouble. When we went to exploit matchups, we did a bit better. Five goals, three goals. But then, again, you cannot rely on one line at all times to produce offense. And we paid for it right there. Get eliminated in round one and six by the Canucks. We at least made it competitive. Switching it around, getting the getting the uh, matchup exploit did help us. I, maybe you could argue I should have done that earlier. But I also didn't expect us to get just shut down like that repeatedly. But it happened. Speaking of which, I totally forgot to check. Yeah, we should, <laughs> we swept them, but I wanted to check what the fuck our record was in the regular season. I totally forgot for the AHL. Holy shit, 58-8-2. That's stupid. And Jaron Myers had himself a ridiculous year. 40 goals, 73 points. Scored was 71. <laughs> it was just them two killing it. Hosang didn't do a whole lot. Still a bust, unfortunately. Uh, Yeah, I, oh my goodness. Really? This... Terrible goaltender comes in and he gets a shutout and a uh, one goal win. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. Oh my goodness. Absolutely killer. And we'll see who, who did what in that first series there. Holy shit. Lane Peterson with seven points in three games played. What even line am I playing you on? Oh, can I not check? Thought I could check. Oh, whatever. Who cares? I got to actually go to the lines instead of being a lazy fuck. But look, 58-8-2. What a year. What a year. All right. Well, that's that. I should probably send down that other goalie to be back up. Not that it matters. I doubt he actually gets a game in with the way Hill's playing. Good gracious, though, man. Uh, unfortunate way to end the season. I kind of want it. Flurry did horribly. It's not all his fault, but it... I mean, we aren't a bad defensive team. If you look, I mean, we were throughout the year, but I really didn't think we we, we should be. Like, if you kind of look at what we got, we got we got great two way forwards on this third line. Our defensive core is not bad, and there's no OFDs. Like, it's all defensive style players. It's just we had trouble keeping the puck out of the net. Maybe it's coaching. Maybe it's a bit of everything. But yeah, kind of curious as to why we are so bad defensively. Because when you take a look at it, we shouldn't be. So that's something that we could, you know, we'll have to try to address in the in the coming uh coming uh coming years, definitely. But I think a lot of it's going to have to do with coaching. So, tough way to end, like I said, but it is what it is. Uh the good thing is Tampa missed the playoffs. Maybe maybe we get obscenely lucky and get a top 5 pick. 
which would be kind of cool. It would really solidify ourselves, but it's not 100% needed. All right, but that will do it. Thank you guys for watching. Hit that like button, and I'll see you in the next one.